Friday, folks. Good morning. It's uh, Stephen here from TCTHGroup.com. It is Sunday morning, quarter past five in the morning, and we are fueling up. Fueling up here, and we were on our way to Dublin Port. Drop on to Stanley Line, over into Hollyhead, from Hollyhead then down into the Midlands, lift one of our guys, and then down on into Surrey, I believe, uh, for tonight, for tomorrow morning. So, yeah, nice early start to a Sunday morning one. Alrighty, folks, so it is now half past seven, 25 past seven, and we are up here at Dublin Docks, just about to embark the old Stanley Line. Sure, picked it up in the GoPro. Can you zoom in on this GoPro? Uh, nope. Just tap it at the back of it. Anyway, just heading back over here now, guys. As usual, we will ship into Hollyhead in Dublin and then down the road to lift one of our software developers and then down into Surrey tonight for a meeting with a very interesting company tomorrow. So folks so we have just pulled in here to Cheshire services uh, for first of all a meeting with a client And we are going to now blow on down the road. I think the sat now is telling us about two hours, 20 minutes drive. Go down, lift one of our software developers, and then we have another, I think, two hours, two and a half hours drive after that to get to our destination tonight. Now, one of the big things is that obviously 26 degrees, um, it's not great having our <coughs> black polo shirts on, you know, or even our uh, dark color shorts of any kind. So, yeah, not great for the summer, but. It is what it is. Might have to just pull the top off and go commando going down the road. Alrighty, folks. Good morning. It is now Monday morning. Uh, we're down here in London and just getting up to get stuff sorted on our way. It's about 20 past five and time to get up and do the usual. Jump on the computer and get stuff sorted. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a wee look around this hotel called the White Horse. Um, it's very quaint. It's an old hotel. To be fair, it doesn't look great on the outside, but lovely, lovely wee hotel inside and out. Or sorry, on the inside. Um, so I'll give you a wee duke round. Um, actually, I can do the room now, maybe. How about that? Go through the room this way. And it's a real old uh, awarding house. And as I say from the outside, it looks like a bit of a dungeon. What's going on? Just revamped. Great size of shower. Really well done. All your bits and bobs in here. Um, you've actually a safe and all in here as well, I think, I believe. And a fan. Only fan I have on YouTube. And here, nice wee table to work from. And then with the bed area, and of course, the old time phone. So in the event of emergency, you run over in a panic and you press nine, and then nine, and then nine. So for any of the, the younger viewers um, who's never seen these types of phones, this is what we all used to use back in the day. So yeah, old meets new. <laughs>
Alrighty folks, so we are now down here with Tacosyst Development, which is our you know leading providers in hardware and firmware with remote downloading and uh, all electronic systems we put in for TACGRAPH, uh, downloading, TACGRAPH retrieval and storage and record retention. So I'm going to nip in here, I'm going to chat to the market manager, Joe, and some of the other guys. Joe, hey. how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good man, good thanks. Good. So listen, I'm going to take up a wee bit of your time here on our YouTube channel at TCTS Group TV. Like, subscribe, and what's the thing? Comment, you can. Anyway, tell us what you do here, Joe, and give us a bit of an uh, update of what yeah. TACOSYST is all about. We're TACOSYST. We manufacture, design and manufacture uh, a whole range of tachograph download products, um, from remote download to manual download devices. Uh, company card hosting and authentication and we've got a big database server uh, DigiCentral that centralizes all the data from our devices. Um, here to my right uh, is a bit of our history, some of our products, um, all from the fun projects, the hair removal, uh, some of the database. <laughs> explain, uh, explain this for our viewers, the hair removal device. An, an electronic uh, tweezer again it was uh, created the year I was born so I can't take any credit for it uh, but electrifies the the hair uh, on your body so that's back in 1991 91 so for all the ladies out there that's the way they used to take they used to suffer <laughs> okay what else are we here so this is all how it started um, and we have in here the likes of dates 1992 car mobilizers 93 some brilliant stuff. Some of the databases we work with, built for, for the FTA, now Logistics uh, UK, and again, some of our first generation tachograph download products and card readers, driver card readers. Um, we've got the Digifob, Digifob Pro. Um, so we've... a lot of guys remember these boxes here. Yeah, yeah. From a number yeah, of years ago, maybe back in mid 2000, would that be right? Uh, what yeah. date is that? 2005? Yeah, 2005 from the, from the early ones. Our first Digi Post Pro back in 2009, many of which are still in use today. Um, so first generation and then on to our newer stuff that we'll, we'll walk through in a little bit. Uh, again, thousands of the, the Post Pro unit on the left there, our remote download, uh, the Digi Vu, uh, vehicle unit download key, and the Digi4 Pro and the Digi4. So this is what um, most of our clients get. Yeah, the Digi View. Is a Digi View. Fastest um, download key on the market, that is. Fastest uh, download yeah. key in the market. Fastest download key in the market. So a lot of our customers and clients will actually agree with that because we went away from the likes of the, what was it called, the Digi DL. Digi down. Digi down, yeah. Digi down, then Digi down plus, and then we've moved on to this sort of equipment, which is top class, and obviously we back it fully, that's why we're here today as well. Don't worry about if we're looking sweaty and hot, guys, it is. What temperature's out there at the minute? It's about 30, it's about about 30 degrees. Anyway, listen, let's get a wee juke around the place. Yeah, come through. Okay, Joe, so what's the next stage now of... So, as a manufacturer, uh, we design the, or oh, right from concept, to, to the final product, uh, we're able to prototype here. Adam, who's just to my uh, right over there, say hi. Adam. You're a beautiful assistant. Uh, <laughs> this is Adam's domain. Lots of 3D printing work, lots of PCB uh, building, and lots of things that go way above my uh, above my head. And is this the newest bit of equipment, Adam? No, it's actually quite old now. But, oh really? Uh, yeah, it's been used a decent amount, creating different designs and. PCBs in-house, so we can make a product pretty much from nothing all the way to a usable prototype within the building. Oh, fab. Okay, so where's the next part then of the enterprise? The, into the workshop room. Electronics room. So Adam, this is your den. Yeah, a bit of a messy den. This is where um, Adam B's head <laughs> on a daily basis. So talk us through what happens in here, please. So there'll be a bit of, if I'm prototyping a new product, it'll come all the way around this room quite a lot. So it could be PCB manufacturer, and then populating with all the different components that are here, soldering station, all that kind of stuff, and different 3D printers for different things. So with, with more 3D printers. Yeah. Now guys, you may get a lot of flickering with the LED lights, but deal with it. And all these are in use, Adam? Yeah, this is this is our latest actual oh, piece it? of kit. So newest 3D printer, form labs. Very okay. nice piece, piece of kit. For, uh, so for the guys that follow us and subscribe, show us something that you make here or something that is uh, developed. So I understand we're talking about microchips and we're talking about oh anything here. 
So this is like a, something that would have been 3D printed? Yeah. So different prototypes of casework. So the original, or well, the new Digifob, we would have 3D printed this on a FDM machine. Um, but this is a, a sort of newer resin based printers, which is a nicer quality stuff. So that they would have been made print, on which print machine? Print. This was actually printed probably on the MakerBot, oh, yeah, maybe true. about eight years ago. So we've been doing it for a long time, 3D printing prototypes. Let's head out into the warehouse, into Pete's domain. Pete is our head of production and sales and he looks after all our stock, all our packaging. Pete, tell us what you do. I look, <laughs> after, I look after all the stock and all the packaging, as Joe has just <laughs> correctly just said. Good. good to see you, come this way. Thanks for that, Joe. Thanks for that uh, detail of, of job description. <laughs> so more importantly, guys, this is a kitchen area, as you can see, so that's more important than anything else. But yes. secondly important is the, the warehousing. Yeah, basically all our stuff comes in from our factory in China. Uh, uh, but it comes in as raw product, so when it gets here, you have to check that it's, everything's okay as it should be uh, before it goes through to the production area where it gets programmed and boxed and then shipped out to our resellers across the UK and across Europe. So this is basically it. We have a lot of packaging here, as you can see, which we, all ha we have all bespoke sizes as well to fit our products. So uh, we ship out, there's sort of no rattling or anything like that. So we spend quite a lot of time and money on our packaging uh, for most of our products. Uh, then coming down to this side, this is the bulk of where the products sit once they come in from China. And everything that comes into us gets batch code, uh, which allows us to track that product right from build date right through to uh, customer usage. Looking at DigiDLs, you're looking at DigiBoos, digi Pro. Uh, cabling, all this kind of thing, we bring in all from uh, our factory in China to here where we then get the products and then go through to the production room where we'll go now. Perfect. Right Pete, where are we now? Okay, this is the production area, the goods come in from the warehouse, either myself or my uh, compatriot over there, Karen, who works in production with me. <laughs> She's busy working at the moment, don't want to disturb her, that'd be, that'd be a disaster. So uh, as you see on the bench here, we've got some products which are ready to go out to one of our customers. This is a DigiDL, DL, um, part of an order which is going out to France. So um, now, just we'll slow down a second for a, a lot of our viewers here. The DigiDL is what? That's our remote download solution. Basically it goes into the vehicle, each vehicle with a cable, and it can remotely download all the data from the tachograph and send off to whoever you want it to send to for your analysis. And that we'll see it upstairs in a wee bit as well. Of yeah, how exactly. That works absolutely. okay. So yeah, so that's what's going on here. The the product gets labelled, boxed, tested, gets tested twice on some products as well because we want to make sure that when the the end user gets the product, it's, there's no problem with it. It's going to work properly. So we we do that here before it goes out. Perfect. What happens over here? Nothing. Uh, no, nothing happens over there. <laughs> no, that's where all the work happens. This is Karen. She's actually boxing up stuff right now, uh, labelling it, putting it into boxes, getting it tested, and then away we go. So we've been here all day, guys, and you're just constantly at it. Yeah. All day long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this is it. For some of us, this is what we do all day. Uh, for other of us, you know, we got other things going on, like sitting around, <laughs> taking it easy. <laughs> right. Where's the next section then? Uh, well, we go upstairs. Joe, do you want to take yeah. upstairs and... Right, Joe, where are we now? Yeah, we're in the dev room where all the uh, magical stuff happens that I have no <laughs> idea about. Um, so we've got some our firmware team just here. Warren. Say hello, guys. Hi. And Richard. Uh, we've got James who... James, what do you do? Well, I do all of the software, um, server stuff and things like that. So mostly the servers and software. Good man. And Michael's over here. Michael runs the support side of our business. Yep. Superbly. They can. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. You boys love this stuff, oh, don't yes. you? Yep. Love all, love all the technology bit. And have you met, uh, met Scott before? Um, Scott is in here selling tickets earlier. We don't want to buy any tickets. We don't sponsor <laughs> anything. Thanks. Cool. So, and then Adam working up here as well. There's downstairs uh, building things on screen. Yeah. So very, very, very busy office, guys. Yeah, a lot of technology, a lot of equipment. Um, I don't want to go too close in case we pick up some secrets, but 
That's perfect, Joe. Okay, my friend, where else? Let's head out. Here's oh, look at this again. here. So this is, uh, see if you want kids, <laughs> and you want them to fire, just put pictures of him up on the kids. This is the new lift we've just had installed, <laughs> as you just saw. Go ahead, Joe. A breakout area um, for a company, I think it's, it's a great setup. As you can see, they have the, what do you call this? Table tennis or ping pong? Table tennis. Table, Table tennis. tennis fridges nice seating area just for the camera i'm going to say it's like minus two up here but really it's plus 50 45, yeah 45 yeah. okay so we'll get a wee walk through here guys the equipment that they make develop design and sell joe take it away yeah well as you saw downstairs in our cabinet we've got our remote download solution we have a variety of uh digi dls so we've got our base model, the DigiDL, that runs on 4G, uh, also available in Wi-Fi and LAN uh, as required. So this takes the, the vehicle unit and the driver car data from the tachograph um, on a download schedule, uh, and it also supplies the real-time driver information um, for uh, driver decision support, all of those sort of things. Um, so a really useful tool takes out all of the manual process of tachograph download, um, and this has been going for about 11 years. Many of our original Digi DLs are still in use uh, right across Europe. Uh, so a sturdy bit of kit. Um, and we've then got variations that, that add some functionality. So we've got GPS uh, tracking options with the Digi DL E. Again, some different ports on the back you'll see there. And also the Digi DL E X, which has even more ports and provides you with even more data. A lot of options there, Joe. A lot of options. Yeah. Let's move on to the, the Digi Post Pro. So in thousands and thousands of depots across Europe again, we've got the Digi Post Pro. So this uh, gives the opportunity for drivers to download their own driver cards. So at the end of the shift, you can come in, put your driver card in, do your download. One, two, three, driver card download done. Um, there's the option of running analysis on that. Uh, some have that switched off. Uh, we've also got a clocking module here that allows non-drivers uh, or those without driver cards to tag uh, clock in using a RFID tag. So again, clocking in with fingerprint recognition, tick, and then we'll clock in here. Good to go. This is our original uh, DigiPost Pro that you'll, you'll, uh, many of you will have seen before. So, so this one here is one I would have seen many, many a time. Mm -hmm. Now we have developed up to this model. Yeah, that's our latest. Same thing as such, only Absolutely. Up, updated. Sli yeah, slightly different design. Again, the, the original one's still in use in many, many depots, um, and the new one in even more. Uh, so yeah, another sturdy bit of kit that will be uh, right across. Perfect. So when all this remote downloading happens, Where's everything saved or where's everything, you know, recorded? Yeah, so so each of our devices, um, so the DigiPost Pro has its own internal memory, just in case there's any dropout in uh, Wi-Fi connection or, uh, or any connection 4G uh, modules in these as well. Um, so it's stored internally, but it's then directly sent um, straight away with a connection uh, to our DigiCentral server. So all of our data from all of our devices is centralized into our DigiCentral server that is then passed straight on to um, our resellers for analysis um, across, the, across the continent. Perfect. So when customer, customers or clients of ours ask where, why do we always want a company card of theirs, mm -hmm. show me where they go or show the guys where they go. Yes, yeah, so most of our dealers um, will have one of these, which is our um, DigiCard Hotel. So this hosts um, company cards. So every company car, uh, every company uh, with tachographs will re require a company card to unlock the tachograph ready for download. So this uh, product here provides remote company card authentication, which allows the tachograph to be unlocked remotely uh, and allows for the, the remote download to happen from the, the DigiDL. Perfect. So yeah, a lot of stuff here, guys. Have you any um, handheld devices running to ease? Yeah the compliance for operators? Yep, so, so our basic one is the DigiVU, DigiVU, as you would like to I call like it. I like to call that, yeah. Um, so this comes, uh, where's our... Well, we I'll just, you all right over there? 
Yes, I'm just listening, making sure I don't get to That's the okay, you know. So the DigiVu uh, comes with its USB adapter for connection to the PC. <coughs> there we go. Solid, sturdy. Not going to break that. See so that? this goes into the tachograph with a company card. We'll need to take one out of here. So that's the one you guys a lot of users or clients and operators have out there and they are as joe said a sturdy bit of kit i don't think we've had any back from any of you and if we have there's no problem exchanging the bits out or the piece, piece of equipment out for it so put the company card in there we go So as you can see here guys, they've all the kit, all the different types of tack graphs, the newer ones, the, the Siemens Video, the Stone Ridge, the SE5000 Duo Exact, they're equipping out and testing um, all tack graphs at all times, and anything new that comes to the market as well. That'd be safe to say, Joe? Absolutely. Correct answer. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up on the screen. So you put your DigiVu in, goes green to tell you that it's in, then flashes orange while it's doing the download. You can see that on the screen of the tachograph as well there. Spinny, and the orange. Spinny lad in there. There you go. And then that'll go green when the download's done to let you know you can take it out. If there's ever any problem, such as there not being a company card in, that'll go red and tell you that there's a problem. 95% um, of the time, you won't have a company card in. Most of the time, yeah. Okay, we're green. We're downloaded. Lightning nice speed that was. It was lightning speed. Good man. So we can take that out. As well as the DigiVu itself, we've got the DigiVu Plus card reader, which adds the driver card download uh, onto the device. So again, the DigiVu just slots into that. And you've got a. Where did I put my card? No, not that one. You've got a nice blue light on the front to let you know that the power's on. Again, you've got download orange to let you know it's doing the driver card download and turns green to let you know it's done. Simple as that. Simple as that. All done. Pull your card out and pull the VU out and put the USB stick on. And then that's ready to go into a PC for download of the data uh, through DigiConnect uh, software. And then that will be sent off to wherever you need it to go. What he means is TGTS group and players exactly pal, what TAC graph pal, that's really what he means. Anyway guys, a bit of an update on the TAC system. Anything else that we have, Joe? Yeah, we've got the DigiFob and the DigiFob Pro. So this was a 2007 original. Well, this one isn't. This was our, our second generation, third generation maybe. So is that the case that Adam yeah, yeah, that was had the, made earlier? Yeah, yeah. deadly. So again, you put your driver card in and it'll give you a summary, nice summary, nice and easy, latest information there. Again, it's uh, old data, as you can see. <laughs> uh, daily drive, time since last break, daily rest due, all that sort of information easily available. Again, this is a real driver's friend. Um, gives you all the information you need to make the decisions on your driving time, rest time, weekly rest uh, requirements, fortnightly. Um, and daily. So it doesn't, I know I've been asked this a number of times. Sixty pounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Good man, anything else? So, so what about if I'm a fleet manager or a compliance officer? What's well, my friend now? This oh, is your friend. Let's put this this one in here. Now, a lot of reviewers might know this device. It's been about for a long time, but there has been a lot of upgrades and improvements made. Mm -hmm. So this is our latest DigiFob Pro. Uh, it does your driver card downloads. Done. And then your information's all on there. You can click in. It's got on-screen analysis. It's got any driver infringements, which I'm sure there wouldn't be any. Um, and we've also got the vehicle unit. So via a cable connected to the tachograph, um, you can take the vehicle unit data again. It will record that and give you the vehicle unit information, all of the data in there. This, uh, our latest edition of these comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So you can send the data off for analysis uh, via Wi-Fi. Obviously you've got 
the majority of your on-screen analysis there for you to make your, your immediate decisions. Um, but for your compliance stuff, you can send that off using the um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. That's good with a kit. Oh, so drivers can buy these individually. Mm -hmm. They can download the card, which is a brilliant bit of kit. We also have the likes of the uh, Fob Pro, Digifrob Pro mm -hmm. which again, for compliance officers, for transport managers, for uh, compliance staff, that's another brilliant bit of kit to have. And you can, as you say, it's now Bluetooth and wireless. Yeah. Is that right? And they can be sent then through to your analysis provider, yep. such as tctsgroup.com. That's, that's the one. And this for stuff. biscuit. Time for a biscuit and maybe see that I have a number one YouTube fan. That's it there. Bit of a late joke. Anyway, guys, that's us up here at Taco Sis. If you find that interesting, uh, we'll put it into our next vlog. And then any questions you have, put them down in the comments below. And also go on and like, subscribe, comment. Alrighty, folks. Good morning. It is now Tuesday morning. <clears throat> I'm down here in Canuck uh, with some of our guys. They're just actually. Everybody's doing the way home and finished. So we're in here doing uh, new staff interviews and also interviews with APAs, authorised associates, providers and agents programme. So just putting up this part of the video guys to thank everybody who came down today. Again with another full turnout of interviewees. Again, you know I've I've only come down here now. For guys about us at six o'clock. It's about half past nine. Um, I was here uh, just before 8 to sit on two senior management interviews, but I can't do it all, can't be everywhere. So if you are interested in becoming a part of TCTS Group, TCTS Ireland, uh, whether it's software development through Compliance Power Global Software, whether you want to work with Group Technologies, TLS Transport Logistics Services Limited, whether you, whether you want to work with Smith Enterprise, any of our group of business guys, get the conversation started. Drop us an email to info at tctsgroup.com. Alrighty guys, so <clears throat> next stop completed. You know, same thing guys, operator's license compliance, health and safety compliance, driver management, vehicle management, tachograph management. Um, you know, it's all so relevant to your operator's license. So through this trip, when I've been over in GB, I've, I've been speaking or dealing with four different companies who have got themselves in trouble with the traffic commissioner um, and DBSA just for piss poor management it's as simple as that not being able or not being capable or competent enough to manage their vehicles their drivers their operators license and um, their tachographs tachograph download tachograph analysis all that usual stuff you know and yes they're very busy they're running businesses they're running some amazing businesses through transport and logistics freight forwarding and um, all that sort of jazz however remember guys and please remember without a license you do not have a business to run it's very simple so um you know within gb we've been so busy in gb now for the last what nine to twelve years and we're just building and building and increasing it um there are times we're struggling with the workload that we have on so we have a very simple qualifying system as we bring new clients in um and then we eradicate and terminate other clients now you you know we keep a termination board of all the guys that we terminate and um you know 98 percent always come back on um or we we, we re-order them three months later and let them back on but that's what gives us such the credibility that we have is because we do that you know we put control systems in place that we're not going to be it's more about time we're not going to be wasting air time and air resources dealing with people who don't want to do it right but on the other side a lot of guys don't know what they're doing they just they get into this role of operators license and transport management and they're completely over their head and you know if you don't know you don't know you hear me say this all the time anyway we need to blow on here oh and get up the road what what time is it or sorry what temperature is it let's just see here so it is it's 9 23 in the morning and it is if you can see that 9 23 and 22 degrees it is warm we will try and keep you informed as best you can alrighty folks so we were just pulled in here at a services because sitting on the M25 around London is absolutely soul destroying in the evening but we've made it as far as one of the services now as we head up the road um, it is let me see now we unlock this phone we are an hour and five minutes away from our next destination uh, which is up in Wales where hopefully we'll get somewhere to stay for tonight for tomorrow it's not it's not even booked or sorted yet 
Anyway, we're going to get up the road here, guys. <clears throat> Next stop is Wales, uh, a new possible authorised associate and provider to meet somewhere along the road, and then we're back to the boat to Hollyhead if plans don't change because they can change at any moment. I'm not even sure if you can see me or not, but I popped up into this wee location <laughs> in this vehicle um, as we just leave the industrial estate here in Telford for a job that we've finished up this evening. Um, it's one of them continuous jobs that we do. Um, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto the Telford M54 slip road. M54, near side, near side. Thank you very much. So yeah, we are, uh, what time is it now? It's nearly half past eight at night. And we're now heading up the M54, heading for Wales. We're about um, a place called Four Crosses. A mile, merge near, onto M54. Near um, Wrexham. So we have an hour's drive left and we just need to keep moseying on. Now right, folks, there you have it, the Hand Hotel, um, which it's a real old, real, really old building, real old building, you'll find there's flicker in there probably with the LED lighting, but a really old hotel and it's, abs it's great to see the room modernised as much as this. So we we'll have our sash windows and a beer garden at the back. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. Sorry I hit your head there. Alrighty guys, so we have just landed back in the port of Hollyhead. Another lovely evening in Hollyhead. So anyway, we'll try and pick up a bit of footage here guys. This is probably where we will end this vlog. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the buttons, leave a comment, do leave a comment, put a thumbs up, put a thumbs down, whatever, just do something. Anyway, that is all. Yo, 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 yo. What's your problem? Yes, you, sir.